Hi guys. So um, we're going to discuss on how to make a guest network and attach that to a VPN network that is, uh, is forwarded to. What that means is that the guest network is for your friends or your family, or maybe just when you don't want to connect to your home network, you want to connect to a VPN. They don't want to be associated with your IP at home for privacy reasons. Um, that's what we're going to be doing. So your, your friends can access to this guest network and they won't have access to your internal network where all your devices are connected to. Um, Businesses use this for their internal environment and that's and that sort of thing. So they they, they people can't access the uh, internal environment. So let me just log in. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the wireless settings and we're going to take off the guest network off the main network. So we this this router has two bands. It has five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. So what I'm doing is I'm disabling the 2.4 for the LAN. And I'm making it so it's it's going to be part of the, a new LAN, which is going to be just the guest network, a new network. So I'm going to click on save, save and apply. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the network. I'm going to go to uh, interfaces, and I'm going to click on add new interface, and I'm going to make it called guest network. And I'm going to make it a static IP and we're going to assign it the uh, guest network address and we're going to go create interface from there. We're going to assign the, the uh, guest network here. We're going to assign the IP address 192.168.7.1. There should be a unique address on your network. That's not on the net mask. We're not going to assign the gateway because the gateway is going to be assigned to the VPN. Uh, and uh, we're going to go to the, the DHCP server and we're going to uh, set up a DHCP server on this address. And in advanced things, we're going to set the DNS to be associated with the, uh, the, the, the name server of Proton or whatever your VPN will be, because that will make it so you don't get DNS leaks. So your privacy is better. Uh, and you, there's no leaks to where, where your IP is coming from. Okay. So after I do this, I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to click on save and apply. So now after doing the, the interface, we got to do the firewall. So the firewall basically uh, makes it so nobody can access the network as well as the routing for masquerading and stuff like that. So I'm going to go to devices and uh, I'm going to add device configuration. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to have a, a device for bridge and make it so it has a different Mac address. So let me just do that here. So the, the, the device will have a different Mac address for the, for the uh, guest network. I'm going to uh, make it IPv6 disabled and I'm going to click on save. Okay. And let me click on save and apply. Now we're going to, after we create the device, so the device now has a different Mac address for that system. So now I'm going to go to network. I'm going to go to firewall and I'm going to create a new firewall for this, for this system. So we can, it knows what, what the rules are and where it's forwarding the information from. So I'm going to get do cover networks, guest network, and only allow for destination zones. We're just going to make it, uh, the, the VPN. So the VPN is going to be the allowed for the forward destination zones and that's it. I'm going to click on save. Uh, I'll guess net. Click on save. Then I'm going to click on the save and apply. Okay, and then I'm going to make this accept as well and make this accept as well. And I'm going to click on save. And then I'm going to create some firewall rules to make it so the guest network cannot contact the other router. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, traffic test. I'm going to add, you go to traffic test and I'm going to add the first one is going to block all device, all block LAN. Which means I'm going to block everything from the block everything from forward 
four destination everything from uh from LAN guest network everything from guest network to the the destination zone LAN is going to be blocked uh we're going to drop those 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 packets so let me drop them uh everything the guest network to, to drop to LAN will be dropped Just double check that. I think that's correct. No, uh, yeah, I think that the guest network to land will be dropped. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna click on save and I'm gonna move this up here to the very top to make sure that it, it is blocking those packets. The next thing I'm going to do is block the ports to the administration service. So we're going to block HTTP. Device is going to be from the guest net and destination zone will be from to uh, LAN. And then we're going to block uh, port 80. Even apply. And we're going to do the same thing for port 443. I mean, port 443. I'm going to click on add. Block anything from SHTTPS. Block anything from the guest network. And actually, the source zone should be this device, not, not a. Uh, the sort destination zone should probably be this device, not uh, not um the uh, land. So I'm gonna block this uh four four three, and drop this packet as well. Save it. I'm gonna change this to this device as well. So this should be this device. Okay, click on save. I'm gonna save and apply. So that blocks the ports for port 80 and 443 for uh, to the web interface. Now I'm going to go to the multi LAN and I'm going to go to the rule. I'm going to add a new rule here called uh, guest. Click on add all, all uh, protocol all 192.68. Source address is 192.67.0. So that's the whole network. We're going to tell it to go to ton zero. And everything will be 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0. .0. Okay, click on save. Save and apply. Move the uh, ton only to be at the top. So it's the top priority. So this may, because it, it goes down the rules here. So we'll say this, this one will, when it, anything from this network address, which is the one that your guest network is assigned to, will only go to ton only 0. So I'm going to click on save and apply. And we're going to test the network. That should be it. We should now have, be able to log in and uh, have access to the guest network and VPN will be working uh, without DNS leak. So let's uh, connect to the network and see what happens. We'll connect to the guest network. And we were going to check it out and see if correctly. So this first try. Looks like my, oh, it's still not connected yet. Sorry about that. So we're gonna check our internet connectivity. It looks like I made a mistake with something. So I don't have access to the to the routing. So we did something that uh, is not working. So I'm going to go back. Disconnect. Go back to the home network. And take a look at what I did wrong. Go to VPN. I go to, go to V network. Let's just double check everything. The interfaces. 
Inefficient seeing an IP, the guest network. Let's see if the guest network has a firewall. Guest network does have a firewall. I want to check the access to the uh, guess the HTTP server looks okay. Okay, I want to check access to the to the multi one. Make sure the multi one is up. And ton zero is up. Yep, that that looks good. I'm going to go to the multi one settings again. And I'm going to go to the rules and make sure this is set up here. Oh, I don't have a net mask on the, on the, the, the slash here. That might be why I click on save, save and apply. And we are going to then delete one of the, we're going to try logging in. Then we will delete one of the firewall rules, possibly made a mistake with the firewall rule. I'm going to log out. I'm going to log in. I'm going to log on to the VPN server. Okay, I'm connected. And it looks like that was the problem. I was missing the uh, the slash zero. So the slash zero is very important. It tells the, 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 the mask of the system. So I can't. So to prove that I can't connect to the server, these are the, the addresses I can't connect to. I can't connect to the web interface. So the web interface. Now, if I go to Google, it should work. Now, if I go to what's my IP address, it should be the uh, VPN address that we're using. So it'll be Tokyo. As you can see here, it's Tokyo, Japan. And if I go to DNS links, I go to Google, I do some searching like uh, DNS leak. And I go to DNS leak test. And if I do an extended test, it won't show up. You're, you're, you won't be able to be notified. You'll be, be private. You're on a private network and um, it's not coming from your IP. So this is how you do a VPN uh, with the guest network, as well as set up a guest network so they don't have access to your internal network. I hope you have a great day. And I hope uh, this helps helps you out. Have a great day and thanks. So I'll just, we'll just wait to the end of this so you can see that none of the, before I go. <laughs>